Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of quadrilaterals. This is standard 3.6b, the great state of Texas. And we're using number 17 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause this video, work this problem out on your own, and then unpause it. We will look at our answers together. So quadrilaterals is just a big term that means a four-sided shape, because quad means four. So we've got many different four-sided shapes. Rhombus, trapezoid, rectangle, square. So when you're thinking of quadrilateral, think of a quadrilateral, I'll draw a circle like a big bucket. And so this big bucket or this big category is the quadrilateral category. Inside that quadrilateral, you have rectangles, you've got squares, you've got rhombuses, and then you've got trapezoids. So a trapezoid is also quadrilateral, square is also quadrilateral, so on and so forth. But what do we know? So is a parallelogram. And that's not one of the listed items, but that's also a four-sided shape. So which of these figures do not, that's going to be big for us, appear to be a rhombus, trapezoid, rectangular, square? Well, let's start with what we know. A square is pretty simple. But we know it's a square because it has uh, equal sides. Obviously, there are four equal sides, but remember, these are quadrilateral. So everything's got four sides. They're equal sides. And there's one other thing they need. They need right angles. Now, that's the technical term, a right angle. Sometimes we'll call it a 90 degree angle. And in fourth grade, you're going to spend quite a bit of time measuring angles. But you could just think of it as a square corner. So this is a square over here, figure Z. And it's not a surprise. We've been learning squares since pre-K. But it's a square simply because it has four equal sides, all the same length. And you've got these, we put these little squares here. They're square corners, right angles. And... One other thing is it's a parallelogram. So let's go ahead and just talk about that parallelogram. A parallelogram has two sets of parallel sides. And it's not pictured here, but this side, the top is parallel or does not ever touch if they were to extend forever to the bottom. And then you've got the two vertical lines are also parallel. If you were to draw them forever, they would never ever touch or they would never ever cross. So that is a square. So let's go to our next easiest one. We've got a rectangle. So a rectangle is going to have 90 degree or right angles, and it's also going to be a parallelogram. So that means the top and the bottom are parallel sides, and the two sides, the vertical sides, are also parallel. So that's a rectangle. So this is a rhombus right here, figure V. So a rhombus well, it's kind of like a square because it's got four equal sides, but it's not like a square because the angles aren't right angles. You don't have the uh, right angles. You simply have, it's the parallelogram. So it's kind of like a square, but it's also kind of like a parallelogram because it's got these sides right here that are parallel. So they don't have to be up and down or side to side. Parallel lines can be diagonal. So that's a rhombus. Now this is a trapezoid. We know this is a trapezoid because it is not a parallelogram. Parallelograms, remember, have two sets of parallel sides. This trapezoid only has one set of parallel sides. So that's what makes it a trapezoid, one set of parallel. I'm gonna put those two L's right there. That's actually the symbol for parallel lines. So one set of parallel lines, that's my trapezoid. And sometimes a trapezoid can, can look like it's the two sides that are not parallel. They can be both diagonal. And then sometimes it can be like this. It kind of look like a, like a half one. So the question is, what in the world is figure Y? Well, guess what? Figure Y is nothing. It doesn't have any of those characteristics. It's not even parallelograms. It is simply a quadrilateral. When we don't know what something is, and it's got four sides, we just call it a quadrilateral. So the only one that sticks out is figure Y, which means that is going to be our answer. That's the one that does not have a rhombus, trapezoid, rectangle, or square. 